Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm just going to be doing my makeup and answering some questions. I got some new goodies the other day when I went to the mall and in the mail because all I do is buy makeup and I wanted to play with them so I figured I would just go online and find some random questions and answer them and do my makeup on camera. So I hope you guys enjoy. 30 beauty related questions. <laughs> I guess we'll do beauty questions because we're not, we're doing makeup, right? Question number one, do you remember your first makeup item? Mm, do I remember? Yes. It was an eyeliner. It was, I want to say it was a green eyeliner and a mascara, I think. I'm not going to get very far doing my makeup without a mirror. So I think my first beauty product was an eyeliner, like a pencil eyeliner from the drugstore, like 85 cents, and an eyeliner, and a mascara. And I think it was the great lashes, the pink with the green top. <clears throat> is that. Describe your perfect mascara. Have you found one that fits your your have you found one that fits your specifications? My perfect mascara. I use three mascaras to get my lashes, like how I get them, how I want them. My perfect mascara will make my lashes look like I'm wearing fake lashes. Long, voluminous, separated, because I don't like when they're like clumpy. I like when the eyelashes like go out, like they get longer and like, you know, more dramatic towards the outsides. No, I haven't found that perfect mascara yet. I am yet to find the perfect mascara. What kind of coverage do you prefer out of a foundation? Depends. Because sometimes... Oh! Sometimes I just want to go with like a light BB cream. And sometimes... I want this. <laughs> so it really, really just depends. This foundation that I'm using is the Huda Beauty foundation, faux filter foundation or something. I don't know, I don't know what it's called, but it's by Huda Beauty. It's the one that Nikki Tutorials uses. It's like her holy grail, I think. I've been wanting to try this for so long and I finally picked it up the other day. <laughs> a little bit goes a long way, definitely. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm shocked. That was literally like one pump on my hand and it covered my, oh, I look like a ghost in the viewfinder. Let me look up close real quick. Hmm. I don't think I like the primer. The other day, I bought a bunch of stuff from ColourPop. I wanted to try their foundation and um, concealer. So I got it and it came the other day and I tried it and I hated it. I put, I used their, their primer and then I put the foundation and the first off online the shade looked like it would match me and it sounded like it would match me it didn't match so i purchased this foundation to make up for it i have a problem i buy too much makeup if i leave the house you know i'm coming back with new makeup sorry i don't make the rolls question four favorite high-end brand huh. i have to think of that one i like i don't know i like a lot of brands Ugh. i don't know if this is gonna match me Every time I buy makeup, I'm like different. I'm, like sometimes I'm in the light shade range, sometimes I'm not. <laughs> and I'm just I get confused, you know? Uh yeah, so a favorite high-end brand. I like Tarte. I don't know if I have a favorite. Like I'm trying to think of my collection and like if I have like a lot of one brand. I mean Fenty's really nice, but like I don't I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I would say probably like Tarte. Or does like milk makeup count? Does that count as a high-end brand milk makeup? Because if so, I like milk makeup. I don't like this stuff. I don't think I've owned the, their luminous blur stick. Well, actually, it actually worked out really well. I, like, I own their luminous blur stick, and then their I tried their hydro grip primer. Ten out of ten. I realize I'm very aggressive with my makeup. I really like to make sure it gets in there. You know, mm, I like Lorac. I never owned mm, I never owned anything Lorac, but like their stuff's so pretty. You know, the eyeshadow palettes, so pretty. I want the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. What cosmetic brand have you always wanted to try but still haven't? Lorac. <laughs> I don't want anything, like, 
hourglass or anything because that's she's expensive she's expensive and i can't afford that do you wear fake eyelashes i used to not i used to not know how but uh i do now occasionally i like the ardell demi wispies i feel like they're really natural looking so if i'm wearing fake lashes those are the ones i'm wearing i like when they swoosh when they swoosh out at the ends. I go through phases where I'm like fake lashes 24 seven. And then I go through phases where I mascara the heck out of my eyelashes. The only thing about like mascara is I feel like I never can get all the mascara off my eyes. Like even if I don't like, I'll wear makeup, I'll take off the makeup. The next day I won't wear any makeup. I'll wash my face a bunch of times, blah, blah. And then I go swimming in a pool and I still have black circles around my eyes. Is there any makeup that you can't leave the house without? No. I will roll out with a bare face. I really don't care. There is no type of makeup that I can't leave the house without. What is your most cherished beauty product? Um, my most cherished beauty product? I don't know if I have one. Um, like what does this mean? Oh, like a product I can't live without. Like something that I'm like always in my collection and when I run out I'm getting a new one. Uh, probably this setting spray. It's the Pixie Skin Treats Makeup Fixing Mist with rose water and green tea. First off, it smells amazing. If I could bottle it up and wear it as a perfume, I would because it smells so good. Yeah, and I already bought like another one because I was like, oh no, I'm going to run out soon. I already bought a replacement, so I don't run out. I'm not really a huge blush person. I only put like a little bit if I put any. And then I do use it even more with this guy <laughs> how often do you shop for makeup do you like to pick up an item here and there or get lots of goodies at once so i shop for makeup pretty much every day um i wouldn't say i purchase stuff every time but i'm always looking on ulta's website i'm always on sephora i'm always looking at makeup well, um, I usually pick up goodies here and there just because I don't like spending all my money at once. You know what I mean? Like, I can't go into Sephora and drop $500. I just can't do it. Can I drop 30 or 40 Sure. So, I pick up things here and there. Plus, I think that's more fun because it's like you're, you always have like a constant, you know, if I go in and buy everything at once, I got nothing else to buy, you know? I go in and buy like one or two things and then I come back next week and get one or two things. There's always new things. It's always a fun adventure. That's my story. My family roasts me because they're like, dude, you have so much makeup, you won't even be able to wear it all in this lifetime. Favorite drugstore brand? Probably. I've been diving into drugstore a lot more recently. I used to be like, bougie and would only buy high-end stuff just because like it's fun my favorite drugstore brand for my eyes i'm just gonna use this palette that i built from um shop Masse. uh yeah so favorite drugstore brand i don't know oh, oh my gosh um maybe maybelline i like milani i don't think i have a favorite yet yeah i don't think i have like a favorite yet i'm going super light with my eyes beans oh i have to answer another question do you have a beauty budget or do you spend freely <laughs> i spend pretty freely i obviously make sure like i have money to spend but i don't really say like oh i'm gonna spend this much on makeup this week or like this month no more than this like i just buy what i want to buy this is gonna be super interesting because this is like a new thing to me that I'm trying. Sorry, my voice is really like raspy. I don't know why. It's coming like in and out. Do you utilize coupons, rewards, cards, and sales when you do cosmetic shopping? At Ulta, yes, I use my points. If I can, I use the 350 off. At Sephora, they don't really have coupons. So I'm going in with blue mascara. Oh my god. The ColourPop blue mascara. Oh my god. It looks kind of cool. <laughs> blue. 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 Blue
blue. I think it's kind of cool. It's different. And like, I feel like it's not like, it's not like blue, but it's like when I hit, like it's like, there's a tint. This is kind of cool. This is kind of cool, this is kind of cute. What type of products do you buy the most of? I would say, um, based off of my makeup collection, unbeknownst, oops, unbeknownst to me, I buy lip products a lot. I used to say I had no lip products till I organized my makeup and I saw like <laughs> the amount of lip products I have. That's a lot. I like this highlighter that I got from Shop Mose because it's like not a glittery highlighter. It just makes you look like it's like a wet highlighter. That makes sense. It's like a glowy highlighter, not like a bam glitter highlighter. You feel me? So I'm gonna spray with my Pixie Glow Mist Setter. Just I kind of just pat out the dots. Is there a brand you can absolutely not stand? Um, I don't think so. I'm trying to think, when I go into Ulta, is there any section I like avoid? No, there's no brand that I can't stand. Are there brands that like I don't use? Of course, you know, I'm one person. I can only use so much makeup. I'll spray with that Rip of Decay all nighter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, oh my God, I just stabbed myself. Ow. I can't, st ow. St oh my God, ow, that really hurt. I like this applicator. Do you have a favorite place to shop for makeup? Uh, I usually go to Sephora and Ulta. The only reason I prefer Ulta is because I feel like they're more laid back. I know like Sephora has some stuff you can't get at Ulta and I don't mind shopping Sephora, but I feel like Ulta just has a different vibe, you know? Has more of a chill vibe. More like Sephora I go in when I want to feel like a bougie bitch. Also, this lip color that I just put on is the Maybelline Matte Ink in, in Poet. I swatched this yesterday on my hand and I showered washed my hands multiple times and it's like stained to my skin so that's fun looking forward to that basically for the most part everything i put on my face today was new real talk so that was fun all right guys i am done doing my makeup i answered a few random beauty questions and yeah this was kind of fun i like just sitting down doing my makeup kind of casually talking about something random it's fun. It's cool. And yeah, hopefully one day we'll have a big enough following where I can ask you guys to ask me questions and I can answer things that you guys want to know. One day, maybe. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.